what on earth am I doing out in a creepy wood? Look at this. This isn't a set. Listen. Snap. Where's, where's those witches and wolves? Right, I am out with silly sounds going on in the background because there's a pigeon or something up there. I am out of first thoughts only. This isn't a full review. This is just my first thoughts. So I've done a little bit of testing. A little bit. And what am I testing? Well, if I get it and put it the right way up rather than upside down, look like a numpty. There you go. Very nice. Nightcore NU33. I test a lot of 18650, 21700, larger headlamps with long run times, IPX8 and all that. This is something different. So it's from Nightcore and it's what I would call the filler gap. So it's not the micro ones, it's not the full on HC65s and things like that. This is somewhere in between because it's relatively large. But look, in my hand, it's, you could argue that's still sm sort of small. You can lock it though, you see the little lock function there? Hold both buttons and it will lock. So you do have that and it is tiltable, I'll show you that. So it tilts away from the headband. You can see it's got like a honeycomb inside there, so it lets the air out. I didn't find any sweat problems with this, the band is very nice. And the night core paint there is reflective. Um, I've got red light on here, but it is reflective. In fact, I'll put some proper light on, hang on. So you can see what the hell I'm doing. So turn that out. There you go, right. We can see what we're doing now. That's what it looks like in actuality. Okay, so, NU's 33, looks pretty decent. It's plastic, so it's only got a one meter drop rating, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. Little serial number on the bottom there. It's plastic on the bottom, so it doesn't scratch your head. It's only a single band, so it's like a, a two pointer rather than a three pointer, which is okay, because this isn't very heavy. So. I can forgive them that, I can forgo that and I understand because it's smaller. It's pretty light this. This only contains a 2000 milliamp hour battery, which I think is enough, you know, that's pretty decent. Um, but I really like it so far. You've got three LEDs and they're all TIR. You can see that? The, obviously the, the centre TIR rem is reminiscent. It's got a little bit of a pattern to it. It's reminiscent of the D1s and the H5s from Wuben, which I loved. So I'll show you what it's like. So I'll turn this out. Right, so there's no light where we are. Okay, so I'll turn it on. So main beam, there's main beam, there's three modes. So CRI I haven't tested on this and it is type C chargeable, which I, you know, I'll show you in the full review. You can use it whilst charging, which I absolutely love. In fact, we'll walk along, look, we'll walk along here. So yeah, I could walk by that on its lowest setting. I could honestly walk by that. Peripherals is lacking there, but it will do because it's on a low setting, you know, down at the floor there. Not bad, not bad, put it that way. You should get a good representation of this. I'm uploading this at the highest quality, 4K HDR. So hopefully you should get a good representation. A little bit of greenness to that, but we are in greenery, so I'll forgive, I'll forgive the night call a little bit on there. So that's the lowest. And then you've got medium, or mid as they sometimes call it. So I'll show you that. So peripherals, okay. Um, this is more for like up close camping, um, close comp, no, I was gonna say close combat. This isn't, you know, this is for certain types of hiking. It does have the adjustability, um, and bear in mind, it's not supposed to be one of these mega superpowers like the HC65, which I love and I give it an extremely high mark, but do you really need 1750, you know, 1750 lumens? Probably not. And it's nice to have that, you know, if you, you know, if you need to startle someone or whatever, or you, the headlights in your car break or something, I don't know. So this is medium and you can see that's perfectly serviceable. I could use that to hike, definitely. Then we'll go to its highest, which is 700. Now, for the 2000 milliamp battery in this, which you can't take out, they're quoting four hours, so there's its highest, 700. So let, let's look at this beam, what can we see here? So you've got a bit of push in the middle, haven't you? So even though it's a TIR, which isn't necessarily what you think of with a thrower, there's enough of a central channel there which is throwing, you see? I think that's pretty good. In fact, I'll put it down the ground so you can get a bit, of, bit more of an idea. So you can see how you've got that quite tight push in the middle. Now, you may or may not see there's a tiny bit, in fact, it looks worse on camera here, there's a tiny, tiny little bit of um, what I would call um, tin shift. Very, very small though, not noticeable. I'm looking for these things on purpose. Let's look down here. I think that's pretty fine for a lightweight 700 lumens. And it doesn't step down on that, which is fantastic. So you could put this on, walk for a couple hours, not a problem. And here's the best bit. What I'll do is, I'll turn this off. Now if I just press the mode button momentarily, see that flashing? And I'll do it again. It has a proper battery meter, you see that? So there's three LEDs there, out of focus, I apologize. So hang on, let's turn this on, right. So you see them there, proper. So one of them is 25%, two is 50, 
three LEDs lit up is 75 and when it's full you get all four so I'll just show you that so you've got a battery check and you don't have to press it and go right one two three four five right let's work this out all oh, right hang on that's voltage so if it's 3.9 voltage what percentage is that so, you know flashaholics like that sort of thing uh, people who go camping and hiking and walk the dog probably don't so much so I understand and I like that nice feature I think they've done a good job on this and you do have auxiliary modes so we'll turn that out so that was your main beam so I'll show you that in the middle there there's your main beam so you've got your low medium high lovely very nice and then you've got your auxiliary modes so there is your red light mode now it's very bright watch I'll show you there I think that's pretty bright for a red light mode I would like to have seen a lower and a high like on the HC65 but I recognize that is this isn't a super premium light so it lacks some of those options but I would have liked to have seen that I don't know why they couldn't do that it's not like they need to do anything extra hardware wise or not much anyway you also have an auxiliary which I'll try and work out how to get to there's your flash red and then you go back to normal again turn that off if I can work this out then flash there and then that's main and then auxiliary so can you see auxiliary there so it's not the main one in the middle so auxiliary low so you have a low and a high so it's a higher CRI better tint in regards warmth but you're not seeing much I can see okay here but you're not seeing much that would be for like reading a map or something really up close when you don't want to ruin night vision or something so I turn up to its second mode go back again sorry it's because I changed there turn that off okay turn that on there auxiliary just to prove it that is auxiliary so there's low turn it up there's higher so that's the highest high CRI so it will be a higher CRI like I say I haven't done my usual testing yet so uh, I don't know on the output on that the tint or the CRI value I'm guessing it's probably about 85 ish 80 85 it's certainly not a 90 I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought but pretty nice it's okay Um what I'll do is I'll show you some other lights so I'll put that away I'll turn this back onto red light mode, the one I've got in my head. So if you did want to use the HC65, I've got it in my head. I'm going to show you quickly some other lights. Just quick, I'll try and be quick here because I realise people get sick of me waffling. So if I turn this off and go to um, its main mode, so it's on my head right now, HC65. There's turbo. Look at that. Massive difference, isn't there? Super floody and pushy. 1700 lumens there. I'll show you the normal modes. So there's low, medium, high super high low medium high super high and then you have a double click for turbo so lots of different modes there and red lights you've got like there's red light one and then you've got uh, you can turn that up and go at red light two but that's the hc65 which i've got on my head now bear with me because i have a lot of lights in my pocket i've been out testing all night um so let me have a look here what's this right i can feel please bear with me because this is difficult okay here is the HL1, I think it is. So let's just have a look. Astrolux HL01. See the one that looks like a hammer? It's got that nice auxiliary there. But way, way too heavy. But watch how bright this is. Watch. That's pretty good. And then watch. Boom. That's its table. Lovely, isn't it? Orange peel reflector. So nice compromise. Slight compromise on the um, side. You don't get that much peripheral. But it's enough. Look, even if I hold that at arm's length, look, it's enough. See how the, the, the trailing edge of the peripheral vision there goes? But it's enough. It's enough to get by. I still think the SP40 by so is better, but you know. Okay, so turn that off. Get that in the pocket. So I'll work my way through just some of the lights that you might be aware of. So here is... I can get out the pocket. Sofern SP40, very underrated. But look at that wide bowl. Even though it's orange peel, watch. Nice and wide. Watch this. Very underrated. So there's its lowest. Go to turbo. Look at that. Look, beautiful. You've got that push. Or nice orange peel. Works. Dead cheap, this. Absolutely brilliant. Let's just turn around with this. Show you. I don't know why it's got that green running light on. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Because you're not going to see it when it's on your head. But look at that. Brilliant. Peripherals. Brilliant look. Even though I'm moving that look. Where's the peripherals? Still there. Very well designed. Uh, well, they've just thought about it. It works for hiking. They haven't tried to just go for maximum throw and show off. So, very impressed with that SP40. Underrated by Sofern there. I'll show you another one. So, I'm also testing it against the Nebo Micro. I've had loads of people complain about it saying, this doesn't work, that doesn't work. Mine still works. That's all I can say. Um, but I did try and promote all the people who are saying it wasn't working, but nobody seemed to reply. So, I presume they are few and far between. But if they're not, let me know. 
So there's the Nebo Micro, hold it to get the turbo there. Quite, quite bright for its size, but it does step down. Steps down for about 30 seconds or something, 40 seconds, not very good. But it is very, very small. It's a minuscule light. Pulse width modulation isn't very nice on this, but it has a green and red light mode, which are pretty useless. They're too small. Look, there it is there. Very, very small light. Look, it's next to the size of my thumb, and it will step down. But one button operation there, when you want to turn it off, you've got to go through all the damn modes. So you've got to do that and do that. And do that, and then it goes to green, and then it goes to red, and then finally, mercy, you know, thank you, Lord, I can put it in my pocket now. So I'm not sure whether they thought the UI out there. Okay, another quick one that I'm testing it against, if I can get it out of the pocket, that is. Uh, I've got quite a few here. Older one here, Skill Hunt. The newer version of this came out, I tried to order it, and the company said, Oh, we've changed our mind, we haven't got them now. So, right, okay, fair enough. This is the HO3, if I remember rightly. There you go, skill on HO3. I really like this one because it's slim, light, good heat sink. Look at that. I think that's pretty good, but it's not very bright. I, I, I don't think you're getting a thousand lumens on this. I think it's about 850, 900 maximum. But it's a beautiful, diffuse, warm. Look at that. Nice, warm beam. Beautiful, very, very diffuse. Great for up close to have used this in the garage and stuff. I love it for that. Highly rated. For that uh, but the, you don't seem to see them as much now in the new versions out with the mag charging on the top there and all of that but brilliant it's the ui is quite involved and some people might not like that and yeah i understand that what else have we got in the pocket here we've got the brianite hl16 there it is there brianite hl16 uh, aka noctua or whatever the hell they called it so which was some greek god or something there you go pretty bright uh, it's a 90 degree so you can flip it like that and take it out and use it as a flashlight uh, it's only a two-pointer, and you are getting about 520 lumens on max here. It doesn't seem to step down. Quite a white light, but um, okay, pretty good. Nice, something different. That, that's what I like. I like to see something different. Quite a tight beam, though, for a TIO, you see it there? So when you move it, the peripheral suffers. So 500-ish lumens on that one. So turn that off. Get that in the pocket. And we're moving on here rapidly. Well, I'm trying to anyway. Wuben H5. The head is very like the D1. Remember that lovely, floody, wide, wide beam. Um, this is great. It's a two-pointer, but look, you can like rotate it that way, and you can rotate it that way. It's, go, go, go and look at my review of the H. It's brilliant uh, for its small size. It uses a 14500 cell, which is a, a lithium-ion double A size, actually. Um, so it's not a double A, just, you know, chemistry-wise, it's a lithium-ion. But So you get around 400 lumens on this, same as the Nebo Micro, but look at that. Brilliant. Very wide though, look, watch. Even when I'm moving this, although you can't really see it, look. Yeah, okay. There, hang on, if it helps of point in the right direction, there. See, even when I'm moving it, the side doesn't suffer too much because it's very wide. In fact, I'll show you that on the floor, look. Look at the width of that. See the white, ignore the red, because that's on my head, but you see the wide, look. Look at the width of that on the floor. It's almost, it's almost 180 degrees, look at it. I think that's incredible. Brilliant for a hiking light. Really nice. Not so good if you're sitting next to people around a fire because the light will, you'll get, watch, you'll get this light leak like that and it's bloody irritating. But you know, as long as you're not hiking with people with anger management problems, it's not an issue, is it? Brilliant little light. Very light. Bush. Turn that out. Get that in the pocket. Okay. What else were we testing it against? I tested it against the old H1, which I think is underrated by Convoy. Here it is here. Convoy H1. I'll show you it. Nice tint on this, watch, look at that tint. I think that's pretty good. Um, a little bit under, it feels a little bit underpowered. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I was less than, you know, blown away by this. It simply does an okay job. It's okay, the H1. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, I can feel myself waffling here. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, so uh, NU33, if I can find it, uh, there it is. So NU33, let's just quickly cover it. So triple emitter. Type C under there, sorry, under there. Type C, you can charge it whilst using it. One meter drop rating, IP66, so it's dust proof. It's waterproof ish. It's on that line between the six and the seven. So you should be okay in rain with this. Brilliant. It's not an IPX8, but as long as you're not diving with it, not an issue. So I think at this price point, that's okay. I'll let them off a bit, um, you know, for, you know, making it simple. And it's tiltable. You've got nice long run times. Very impressed with this. And th this was quite nice. The elastic on this was nice and it's reflective. Not a lot else more to say. E-lock, very impressive. Uh, I saw it for about 50 bucks. I think that's more, that's too expensive. I think it should be about 40, 40 to 45. Although I did see this for 35. Great British English pounds. 
So I was impressed with that. So if you get it from AliExpress or something, if I, I'll try and stick a link in somewhere um, just to help people out. Um, or Banggood or something like that. I'll see what I can do. Um, but brilliant. So NU33, early thoughts. Thank you for joining me. I will go off into the night, midnight here, waffling to myself. So just imagine that somewhere in the Great British Isles is Trail Trek, wandering around aimlessly. Thank you for joining me. I'll get a full review when I have time. Any uh, questions or comments, stick them down below and I'll have a look. So thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Good night.